I was wondering, Pete, do you think there is more that we could be doing, more that could be happening, just to kind of assist with getting this idea of co-production more out there and more known? What do you think? Um, I think, I mean, I, I think we've all got to do carry on doing what we're doing. Um, and, you know, there, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on. Um, I think we've got to think about co-production and keeping it, I mean, trying to keep it as new as possible, because I think ideas have a, a kind of lifespan and sort of like, you know, first of all, it's sort of like a new, a new idea is like really new and interesting. Nobody really knows what it is. And it's sort of like can be quite feisty and sort of like then, you know, you get maybe a little bit more, more mature and it becomes a little bit more mainstream. Um, and then it starts getting diluted a bit. And then and then eventually it gets into sort of like it's it's final phase where it's starting to be criticized and people are you know people are saying you know why are you doing old co-production you should be doing i don't know what's going to come next kind of thing so i think i mean that's not really a good answer to your question i don't think really but um but i i i mean i think we've got to think more carefully and take more space like nat was saying i think that's 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 really good and just to really think about what we're doing and where's it going um it, it, you know is it getting diluted is it because i think that's the thing that happens is when something becomes more widespread it, it also loses its sort of like bite and its sort of purity and i think we've got to look out for co-production um and sort of trying to keep it keep you know go back to the basics and 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 that I think that's that's important. I mean, I think co-production week, I think, is a, is a good, you know, is a really good thing. It seems to get bigger every um, year. And, it, and it's not really organised by anybody now. It's just like a thing that sort of happens on social media and lots of stuff seems to go on. Um, but I like the idea of a, I like the, I like this idea of a co-production day, of sort of like a day of kind of reflection. Um so you know maybe in team maybe maybe it's a good idea just to do that in one's team you know not to to start mm. small you know just to th to you know because i think co-production is all about relationships um and improving relationships and not not getting entrenched and listening hard to other people and sort of just thinking in what way might they be right if i disagree with somebody just like taking that approach i think is it's yeah, and, and I, I have said this quite a lot in, in the sort of workshops we do, is that we are all human. So we have to remember that, but just despite our labels and our places within the system or even out of the system, actually as humans we experience on a day-to-day -day basis this planet. So how can we help each other experience it better? And that doesn't need to be hierarchical or you know them against us that's pure and simple the essence of us as humans trying to help each other have a better existence yeah yeah and i think that's the thing about the covid experience is you couldn't escape covid no matter how sort of rich or qualified or what you know whether you lived in the countryside or in a city or you couldn't escape from it so that's it's a collective experience and it and, and since I don't know how far back we, we we you'd have to go maybe to World War Two to have had some sort of experience like like that that everybody's gone through, and so I think that that's um, something maybe to build on um, in some way, and I think I think that's that that's that's really important. I, I like your comment there about starting small. Um, that's a little tip that I picked up when I first started learning about co-production and Simon King, who works here at HealthWatch, explained that idea to me. He's like, and this is why we do the cup of co-production as well, because he says, you know, just having two people having a chat over a cup of tea, you know, that's, that can be co-production. You can just start there. I like that idea of starting small. We say that quite a lot, don't we, Sue? Yeah. 